I said, Friday, not quite. Maybe for me. Hey, this is Vanner, and you're listening to Finding Frequency. Not entirely Friday yet. Tomorrow I have a workshop where, well, it's not really a workshop. It's kind of an assessment. And this time I'm not getting assessed. I have a bunch of students. Um, we've been mentoring a bunch of folks through a design thinking boot camp, and they are delivering their final projects tomorrow. So I'm really excited to see what my team specifically has delivered. Uh, of course, I had a bit of a taste of the work they've done, and it's so rewarding to see people grow through, which was actually a period of three months. I couldn't really talk about it here on the show because it's kind of, you know, it's private stuff. But now I can talk about it because um, they are going to be graduating tomorrow, unless they have nothing to show, which I doubt. So uh, really rewarding. Had a guy from the UK, Ireland, and then uh, a very interesting dude from Hungary as part of my mentorship team. Small group, intimate. Um, they went through a design thinking boot camp of about 12 weeks. And uh, I was responsible for mentoring them uh, twice in a week. So uh, the first uh, Thursday would be like an hour session where we kind of did a little bit of a workshop together. And then we had one-on-one sessions uh, on a Friday. So that was kind of how I spent my mornings the last couple of weeks, which was fundamentally rewarding also for a very nice, interesting organization. And yeah, wrapping that up, another little project that I can talk about that I'm really proud of. But in this case, not so much my accomplishments, but then the accomplishments of other folks and just for me the reward of seeing them grow, seeing them doing things and really not surely through my influence, but you know, um, one or two of them really stepping out and, and doing some interesting things, you know, like pushing the boundaries a little bit, uh, delivering beyond expectations. Um, also, getting to learn people's background. Um, one of my students is originally from Nigeria. So he's like me, an immigrant uh, to the UK. And I can see how he's driven to perform, to show that he's going to be adding value to his community. And it's also sometimes like, it's refreshing to see how he thinks that he has to do more. But then when I look at what he does, he's doing much more than a lot of people I know which is so encouraging, but then also kind of reflects back to some of the situation here in Poland where, you know, maybe some of us are a little bit scared of new people coming into the country because they might be taking our jobs. Not because they are forcing us out, but just because they are hungrier, more keen to do a better job, like really appreciative. However, on the flip side also, like I spoke to Marta about it, is that the risk for folks like, this guy and, and a, little, a lot of these expats coming in is that they get, get taken advantage of. And uh, yeah, there's always different sides to the coin. But then today I spent some time with Marta, a um, little bit of snow sticking its head out, not too heavy. Once again, making us think about people sitting outside on the border, which is not a good thing to think about. However, it's in the back of the minds. But then... Um, getting some stuff for the new house that we're going to be taking through and then uh, leaving tomorrow after my assessment and one or two meetings, we will go through to spend some time together as a family hanging out and just relaxing, relaxing like Francie says. And then from there we will go through to our little country estate to do a few odds and ends, fix a few things. We've made a list, people. We have made a list of the things that we want to do fixing gutters, uh, what is my job, fixing one of the shutters, just small odds and ends here and there as we await uh, the verdict on some larger plans we want to kind of do, like renovating the bathroom and all kinds of things like that. But then also kind of taking it easy as Martha is kind of easing herself into a new adventure next week. Only middle next week, so a couple of days still for her to uh, remain unemployed, in air quotes, as she heads towards her new profession, a new opportunity, a new adventure. So we have a couple of things lined up, and uh, I want to warn you that I probably won't be doing any updates while we are relaxing, because um, I want to make sure that it's 100% Francie and Martha focus, which is going to be, and I'm looking really, really looking forward to that. 
And uh, of course, I'll let you in on the secrets. Maybe an update. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I hope that there's something cool for you to look forward to. I've seen some of my friends take little breaks, just creating little moments, little, uh, little uh, you know, breakaways, little um, date nights here and there and, and, and cooking up meals and doing interesting things. It doesn't have to be big things, just small little experiences. Like my cousin heading off with his lovely wife to go and see where their new house is going to be built in the future and just, you know, enjoying the environment, making a little trip of it, making an adventure of it. You know, even stopping somewhere to have a cold drink can be a huge adventure and an experience. So, yeah, make yourself a small adventure as we head towards the weekend. Come on. You deserve this. It's been a long, long, long and tough year. So let's get going. Let's spend time with our loved ones. I think that is the huge re like reward here. Anyway, I'll get off my soapbox. There's many little stories and things I can tell you. The only thing I can say now is that uh, after Marta and I have been to all the shops to get all the supplies for our estate and for our trip tomorrow, I feel quite tired. And I'm heading into another meeting that I have to be 100% fo 100 focused on. I have to bring my A game. So I'm uh, going to dig deep. And then, of course, head towards tomorrow for uh, the assessment of my students to, to see what they're going to bring to the table. Exciting times. Always something to be looking forward to. So uh, all I can say is thank you for listening, and I'll chat to you soon.